Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to create a pop art portrait in Adobe Photoshop. So if you already have a photograph of yourself or someone else that you want to stylize, um, this is a good tutorial for you. So this is actually inspired by the latest J. Cole song, um, Album of the Year. The song artwork on there um, includes some techniques that I'll be teaching in this video. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you do hit the thumbs up button, uh, leave a comment below if you do and you have any suggestions on further videos that I can create. With that being said, let's get right into it. So first things first, you wanna select a portrait to use for this tutorial. I haven't really tried using like a landscape picture or something that's not a portrait, but I'm sure it's gonna be the same process. So right here, I have a picture of J. Cole uh, because he inspired me to make this tutorial. So we're gonna start. So once you open up your picture, you wanna make it black and white. Once you're done that, you want to either use brightness and contrast or tone curves to remove the grays. So you can see there's a lot of gray here. There's not really any white actually. So I'm gonna use brightness and contrast because tone curves are a bit more complex for anyone who's just a beginner. So we're gonna increase the brightness right here and increase the contrast. So now you can see there is more of a white and black differentiating right here. And then we're gonna do it again because it's still a bit gray. Once you're done that, you want to just press Ctrl and click on each of the layers to select them and then press Ctrl E to merge them. Once you're done that, you want to press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. And this is where you can apply all the, you know, cool effects on. So typically with pop art, there's a lot of dots that are involved. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to add like half tones on his face. So the first thing you want to do before you get started with all the effects and stuff is you want to select the foreground color as black and the background color as white. Once you're done that, you want to go to filter, filter gallery, and then underneath sketch right here, you'll see half tone pattern and that's what you're going to select. So with the size, usually two works pretty good. In contrast, you want to increase it. So anywhere from 30 to 50, honestly. So you can see what that does. So I'm going to make it around like 40 but you can increase the size if you want uh, usually i would increase the size to like five or four for the background if you want to do that but it looks fine so far we're gonna press ok what you'll notice is around the eyes right here you'll notice that there's a lot of blurriness so what we can do is go to filter sharpen smart sharpen and then use this preset right here so increase the amount to max remove gaussian blur everything else is at zero and then once you're done that, press OK. And if it still isn't that sharp, you can just go to filter and press sharpen again. It'll sharpen. You can keep doing that if you want. And then, yeah. So once you're done that, you want to go to blend mode and set the blend mode as multiply. And then create a new layer and place that layer in between the first two that you made. And this is going to be the colors part of the tutorial. So now you want to select the color. I'm going to select a yellowish color. I'm going to make this Laker theme because, you know, Lakers just got, you know, LeBron. So yeah. So you want to press Alt Backspace. Alt Backspace will select the foreground color. Control Backspace will select the background color. And it'll basically fill in the entire canvas. And yeah. So that's basically the effect. Um, if you want to, you know, add the skin color, you can do that. So I'm not sure what the skin color exactly is. We can go back here, which is the original image. And then we can just paste it. And then we can just find the skin color. So select the color picker and select it obviously it's not actually his accurate skin color because if you know this is a screenshot from a music video where he's like standing right next to a, a big blue screen so that's why it's kind of bluish uh so that won't work but in your case it might so instead i might make this purple because you know purple you know for the lakers so you can make a new layer just make sure it's in between the first and last one and we're going to select purple and you can do one of two things you can just select around you know where it isn't black and then right click and press fill path or you can uh, use a brush right here set the hardness as zero so right here and then just brush in it'll do the same thing and then there you go there's a little bit purple at the top so let's erase that and then that's basically it if you don't like how there's dots on the outside right here a way to avoid this is when you were doing the first step after you made it black and white and increased the brightness and contrast, if you were to remove the background, this wouldn't happen. If you're already this far into the tutorial, um, to fix this, um, you just want to select on the top layer. So the layer that you made all the adjustments to, and you just want to delete the background. So I'll just use the eraser tool, but you can use the pen tool and just pen out the background. But here, just use the eraser tool and then you can erase it. So you can see what happens when you do erase it. Um, so be careful. So that's why I would use the pen tool to kind of be more accurate with it. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and come back to you guys. So right here, I've selected the background, right click, press make selection, and then delete, and then you should be good. So there we go, we're done basically. 
So the beauty with this is because you've deleted the top background, you can do whatever with this because this is the only background now. So you can go to filter and go to filter gallery and then apply the same effects to the background, maybe make the half tones a little bit bigger. So if I were to select the foreground color as purple and then go to filter gallery, I can actually make the dots, you know, purple, which is really cool. So I'll make it three. So one bigger than the normal size that we already used. And then there we go. You can do that. You can make the foreground color yellow, go to filter, do the same thing. Now it's checkered or you can make yellow and white. You know, there's a lot of possibility with it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did hit that thumbs up button, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.